It's easier than ever to create AI stories with consistent characters inside of them. I made a 3D animation with Cleopatra, the Egyptian queen, and Mark Antony, her partner in crime. And I'll show you how to easily create AI stories with your characters inside of them. We'll start by making images of just a single character first, and then learn how to add extra consistent characters into the scenes. I'll even show you how to customize their facial expressions or change the clothing that they're wearing to fit your story better. But first, let's take a preview at the 3D animation we'll create. Cleopatra, Egypt's last queen, was more than a ruler. She was a force of nature. When she met Mark Antony, a powerful Roman general, <laughs> their bond became legendary. It was a love of passion and power, a union that sought to challenge Rome itself, but their ambition made them enemies of Octavian, Rome's future emperor. At the Battle of Actium, their forces fell. We'll see the full completed 3D story at the end of this tutorial. Let's learn how to generate illustrations of consistent characters. I'm using Design for this character tutorial. It's an AI image and video platform. I'll post the links in the description. Let's go to create a new project for our AI story. I'll give it a name and then choose the aspect ratio for the images. You can change this later. I'll start with 16 to 9 to begin with. The first thing I'll do is make an AI model to generate the Egyptian queen, Cleopatra. So we're going to use this character feature right here. And a couple different options for creating characters pop up. I don't have an illustration for Cleopatra just yet, so I'll actually need to start by generating a character sheet for her. I'll prompt with a description of her appearance. Cleopatra the Egyptian Queen, wearing a white linen dress with golden jewelry, dreadlocks with beads, with an Egyptian headdress and a large necklace, purple eyes, 3D. You want to tell the AI some specifics about the clothing details. Then we'll need to select a visual style to create the character in. I want a 3D animation, and there's this new design 3D render, which is a default. But I actually preferred the pictures I got using this cozy 3D style. I just thought that the characters look much better in them. Let's use a wide aspect ratio and leave the generation mode at fast. The images can be enhanced later on. I created a bunch of different examples for her. Here's a design I liked, and it's got a couple of different angles of her. To get a better view of the character, double click and add it to the canvas. Now let's teach the AI to create consistent images of this character. Use this build character button right here. And we'll give her a name, Cleopatra. Then just train the AI character. This takes around 20 to 30 minutes when I used it. I've already trained a model for Cleopatra, which you can see in my character library. So let's use this one. This brings up the prompt interface where we can start creating pictures of her. There's two different boxes here, one with an automatic AI generated description of her appearance and one below for the scene she's in, which we'll use to describe what's going on around her. I want to show her as a powerful ruler, so we'll put her on a golden throne inside a palace. There's a small Egyptian cat sitting on her shoulder, plants around her. There's an Egyptian soldier wearing golden armor in the background. When it's finished generated, double click on the images to add it to the main canvas. By the way, these images are generated pretty fast, usually in less than a minute. One of the problems you'll run into is controlling the character facial expressions. If we take a look at the images I used to trend AI, they all show her smiling, but I don't always want that. I try to prompt her with a sad expression, but that doesn't work very well. This is supposed to be a depressing scene. What we'll need to do is use this expression edit button and we can go in and make specific edits to her facial features. I found that eyebrows play a pretty big role in how she looks so let's make her sad by lowering the eyebrows. I also close her eyes a little bit and let's change her mouth a bit so it's also closed and kind of drooping downwards. I didn't spend too much time on this but you get the idea. Also you can go back and check the prompts you used using this info button on top of the images. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you want more in-depth AI storytelling tutorials just like this one. So we've got one character down. Now let's add in our second character. His name is Mark Antony and historically known as Cleopatra's lover. This time I'm starting with only a single image to demonstrate how to use your own characters from anywhere. Now we could train the AI model using just our single image of Mark. But to get the best results, we'll need to use multiple character photos. So what we'll actually do is go to this AI video tab, which will help us get more screenshots of Antony. I'll use a clean video model, which is also the default. 
Let's put Antony inside here. And let's get a couple shots of him turning around just a little bit with a prompt. Subtle motion, he looks around. And that looks pretty good for the video. This is a pretty useful way to get extra character frames. Download that video, we'll go to this site called Frame Extractor to get the individual images. You'll need to specify the interval and how many frames you want. Since this video was 5 seconds, I'm gonna ask for 50 frames at 100 milliseconds for the interval, which is gonna process the entire 5 second video. If you have a 10 second video, you'd want to use 100 frames. Then we can pick and choose from all these screenshots we want for the specific character images. Once I've got all my character images sorted out, I'll use the same process as training Cleopatra, except this time with the name Antony and the new character images. Hit this refresh button to create a new character, and we'll train a model for Antony. So now I've got both Cleopatra and Antony. To put both of them inside the same image, we'll need to start by creating an image of Cleopatra and a placeholder character, and then paint over the placeholder to insert Antony into the frame. So, I'll start with this image I prompted for Cleopatra having lunch with a man. And to add our second character onto here, we'll use this character feature again, this time selecting the Insert Character tool. I'll use this eraser brush to draw over the area of where I want him to be added into, which is going to be the purple region. Then inside create a character, pick Antony, and I'll prompt for Antony sitting at the table. He's looking happily at the woman in 3D cartoonish style. This will take a little longer to generate than normal images, maybe a few minutes. And we end up with four different images to choose from, with both of our characters inside. You can create all sorts of different character interactions using this tool. I think the results are really solid, even from different camera angles. Something else you might need is to change the clothing the characters are wearing, depending on the scene that they're in. In this shot, I wanted him to be wearing armor. Changing the prompt works okay, but it's not great. So what I'll actually do is use this image editing tool called Select. And then using the lasso selector, draw around the region of his clothing. In the prompt I'll ask for, he's wearing Roman Legion armor, dirty and scratches, 3D cartoonish style. And that's a much more fitting look for the battlefield that he's on. You'll probably also need to generate some extra images to fill out the rest of your story. So we can do that using this text to image tool. Remember the cozy 3D style I used from earlier. And we'll create some images for the background scenes like the Egyptian pyramids. I really really do like this cozy 3D style. I think it fits really well for 3D animated stories. We can also create uh, other characters like an angry Roman general. To download the images, right click, go to save image. Like I said before, you have the option of upscaling here. Since I'll be turning these into AI videos, it makes sense to increase the resolution a bit to get the best results. I finished with the illustrations and I've sorted them out to turn into a 3D animation. I'll use the AI video tool again. Let's pick an image. For this scene, they're having lunch together and falling in love. I'll prompt for they look lovingly into each other's eyes. He gently holds their hand. And I think that'll fit perfectly into the 3D animation. Let's take a look at what the final 3D story looks like, with all the completed scenes and characters. In the heart of Egypt, where the Nile's waters nourished the land, and pharaohs left their mark, Cleopatra, Egypt's last queen, was more than a ruler. She was a force of nature. When she met Mark Antony, a powerful Roman general, <laughs> their bond became legendary. It was a love of passion and power, a union that sought to challenge Rome itself, but their ambition made them enemies of Octavian, Rome's future emperor. At the Battle of Actium, their forces fell. Facing defeat, Antony took his own life. Heartbroken <laughs> and knowing Rome would soon claim her, Cleopatra made one final defiant choice. Dressed in royal robes, she allowed a venomous asp to bite her, choosing death over humiliation. With her passing, Egypt fell to Rome, but their love became eternal. Aww. A tale of power, sacrifice, and a queen who dared to fight for both her kingdom and her heart. Design does have a free plan where you can use some of the preset default characters. But to train your old characters, you'll need a creator plan, which is what I used. They do have discounts for students, 
So if you have a .edu email account, make sure to sign up with that. If you want to learn how to write the best prompts for your AI videos to create amazing AI animations, go watch this tutorial right here.